Action. There you. Start over, start over, start over. Action. There you go. Oh wow. Hey, hey. What's your name? Uh, Clarence. Damn, Clarence. <laughs> hey there, handsome. Uh, hello. What's your name? Clarence. Clarence, I love that name. That's a that's a real cute name. Th thanks. Where are you from, Clarence? C Connecticut. All right, enough of the small talk. You know what we do here, right? Um, you know how many people I, I have came so. on that couch? Oh, God. You don't want to shine a black light on that thing, dude. I'm telling you. Okay. What do you want now me to do? Now you know what I want, right? No. Go ahead and take it off. Okay. God damn. What are you doing, dude? I'm I, Not your shirt. Oh, what did you want to see? I was talking about the I was talking about the fucking the sheet on the couch, dude. I, I told you this this used there's to be a fucking to come on it? there's a lot of cum on this couch, dude. Oh, we need to clean this thing. I called you over here because we need to fucking clean this couch. You gotta be more upfront next time about what you need. God damn it, dude. Fuck. All right. This used Anyways. to be a whorehouse. Anyway. We need to clean this fucking thing. Is Can't believe we're doing a podcast. Just, is this on pillow it. just come? That's just come. God damn. Absolutely disgusting. And <clears throat> we're back after that cold opening. That little cold open. Did you guys? Did you? Th did you guys think I was gonna fuck Clarence? Leave it in the comments. Did you think I was gonna fuck Clarence? Let me know if 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 Clarence and the and the porn guy should go all the way next time. Cause we will. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon for the full release. <laughs> subscribe to the Patreon for the uncensored version of this podcast. <laughs> um. No, seriously, welcome back, guys. I mean, we're in a little bit of a different of a different um uh environment environment. That's that works. We're we're um we're laid back on our on our cum couch here. Um, Don't take a black couch. light to this thing. But no, dude. right, because no. it'll just be white. It'll just be it'll white. It'll just be a white couch. Well, no, it'd be like the glowing. You know, it'd be like a Dalmatian. It's like when you uh, wear a white shirt to the laser tag. It'd be like a reverse Dalmatian. Oh, yeah. Instead of whites, in, oh, instead God. of black spots, it's just white. So, so, so poodle. Oh, but poodles can be different colors. I, I've never seen a poodle with white spots on it. I was just, because I was just referring to all white. Okay. Poodle yeah, being yeah. all white. It's true. It's true. Poodles are all white. Usually. Usually. They can be other colors, apparently. Um... <clears throat> no, yeah, dude. Fucking, uh, we. I think we missed. We did miss last week uploading, and the reason, the reason we did miss what last week was because I I was on a little vacay. That's right. Little Lake Havasu. I don't know Lake, if you guys have ever been to, been to Lake Havasu. Shout out to Arizona. Shout out Arizona. Okay, really though, I, Arizona. I've been to Lake Havasu. I didn't go that. I didn't go on this trip, but I've also been to Lake Havasu before, and it is a it is a beautiful locale. You're right, right. I I enjoy it. It's nice. It's not too big. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, but then again, I went there when I was like sixteen or seven or seventeen or eighteen. Well, you lied to me 21. that one time. What? We actually haven't told this story on the fucking pod, have we? Which one? But when I when we when we made the chicken sandwich episode. Yeah. And you were like, "Oh yeah, my brother's girlfriend's got a a cabin up in Lake Havasu. We're going to." Yeah. Have we ever told that story on this podcast? That's real, though. My brother's girlfriend does have a cabin. We just weren't invited. Oh. <laughs> so they went, but they were like, yeah, but yeah, you guys you're are not fucking going. You're not coming. They dog. went and had fun that weekend. Okay. So I actually did okay. have a real scapegoat, but, you know, yeah. It we wasn't were, for you, though. No. No. No, no. Not us common filth. Um, no, it's actually funny, because I don't think, 
I don't think we talked about this, but we made that we made a chicken sandwich episode. I think it was episode like eleven, and uh, um, right before that, ep- the making of that episode, we were supposed to record it a day prior to us actually recording it, and literally, I I go I go get, uh, pick Lonnie up. Me and Lonnie are going to collect like fucking ten chicken sandwiches, right? Oh my god, yeah, that was it was horrible because. You know, surprise, surprise, uh, it was a surprise birthday party for Alex. Yep. And I was the one that had to corral him in and, like, get him out of the house, you know. And, you know, so that's that was the whole idea was the chicken sandwich episode. We'll just do that. So we went and go got all the chicken sandwiches, but we were at, like, the fourth place. And it was, it was like, everyone was ready for the party. Yep. <laughs> and... And Alex was like, dude, we only got like four sandwiches. We need more sandwiches. And it was so, so funny. We just, so Alex like straight up just like didn't listen to me and still went and got like two more sandwiches. I did. I did. He's like, dude, we need them. He's like, trust me, we're going to need these. And then lo and behold, uh, you know, just some random fucking people ended up eating them when we got back. Dude, it, it was so funny, though, because literally as we're getting them, Lonnie's like, dude, I don't think we need this many chicken sandwiches. We had like four <laughs> and he was like, dude, I don't think we need this many chicken sandwiches. I'm like, dude, I was what like, the you fuck? know, what kind of episode are we going to make with four I was like, chicken you know, sandwiches? <laughs> I was like, you know, because we got to we want to be thorough with with each sandwich. You know, we don't yeah. want to have too many and make it too long. And I didn't know about the surprise. Obviously, the surprise fucking birthday party. And literally, there was people in my house waiting here for like an hour longer than they yeah. should have because I was still like. Dog, I need these chicken sandwiches. There was people that straight up had to leave because we took too yeah, long. Yeah, <laughs> literally, as I there got there. There was a couple of friends that straight up had to leave because they had other things that they had to do. And it was funny because I was dri- I, I fucking remember this. I was driving down the street, and one of the play Chick-fil-A, it was a Sunday, and Chick-fil-A was, was it a Sunday? For some reason, I think we couldn't get something, right? Anyways. <clears throat> yeah, we, it was. It we, was. we turned and took like a right, and it was funny because... Across the street, there was a Dave's Hot Chicken. And I literally looked at it, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude, we'll we'll get that one instead. And he goes, no, dude, that place has been closed down for years. (laughs) And I was like, I turned my head again, and I was like, really? And then as I looked, as I I looked, there was a family that literally walked in to the fucking establishment. This is fucking bullshit. And I was like, dude. This is fucking bullshit. (laughs) People that walked in, he was like, no, it's a lie, dude. Trust me. (laughs) No, because I swear to, I I put on everything (laughs) I fucking love. That Dave's Hot Chicken was closed for so long. They had the sign up. It's it even the sign even said open. The first time I went to that Dave's Hot Chicken, the sign said open. I wouldn't have just went to a dilapidated restaurant, <laughs> but I walked up to the fucking store because it said open, uh-huh. and it was literally like there were still sheets on the tables, there was ladders all around, like it was clearly still in process of being built. And then I went there a month later, it looked like nobody touched it. Another month later, it looked like nobody touched it, and then it's the next month, which was your birthday month. I figured nobody fucking touched it. Shit's still closed down for some reason. Nobody fucking wants Dude, chicken. The, and then, and then the, the, apparently it was the grand opening two days before or some bullshit. The so fucking, I just looked stupid. The fucking way it happened, though, was so funny and ironic because you were trying to get me to hurry up. <laughs> and the way it happened was literally I look over to my left. I'm like, dog, Dave's hot chicken. We should try that. He's like, dog, it's been closed down for months. <laughs> Family proceeds to walk in. I'm like, dude, no, a family just walked in there. He's like, dude, it's a lie. Trust me, bro. And I'm like, all I, right. To be fair, I didn't see the family. It was so funny, dude. To be fair, I did not see that family. So it was he, so he, funny. He very well could have hallucinated that. <laughs> so I'm not sure. But um, we, we, we got him back to the house eventually, and, and we had a great time that night. We did, dude. That, that actually was a lot of fun that night. Surprise birthday parties. Have you ever had a surprise birthday party? No, 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 no surprise birthday parties. Yeah, because my birthday parties were always like family, fam, fam, family oriented, I guess. So it was always like invite the aunts, uncles, cousins, grandma, grandpa, whatever. And then uh, like friends were always like the last people that I would be thinking about on my birthday. Right. It's because like it was always seen as like more of a family day. Yeah. So I never really even like. Invited really any of my friends out for my birthday, you know, to, even if it was just like at the house or whatever. And then, uh, and nobody ever took their li- took the liberty to you know throw one for me. So, 
Fuck, I guess I need to throw him a surprise birthday party, huh? Hey, for the tw- for for the 22nd, 20 for year 22. We'll we'll see. Okay, what year? Cuz I've heard this a lot from people who are older. What year do you think you're going to stop counting? My birthday? Yeah. I I'll count it every year. I, I don't want to forget my age. But I hear that all the time. Like we might be saying that cuz we're young, but I hear all the time after like 25 I'm you never I'm never going to not have a slice of birthday cake on my birthday. Really? I love birthday cake. <laughs> you like birthday cake? Well, I just I don't. Well, I just like cake in general. Yeah, it doesn't have to be birthday a cake. Birthday cake, birthday cake. Like so like confetti cake. It could with, just be like a random cake. On it a could be day. any cake. If it's like a birthday, if it's cupcake. Okay, but it could even be a pie. Okay, but if I'm, I'm going to celebrate my, my I'm going to celebrate my birthday with a dessert treat with a dessert treat. Okay, but if it's a random day, I'll still probably eat the <laughs> I'll still probably <laughs> eat cake. the treat. Okay, but is it is it better if it's a birthday cake on someone's birthday? Like that's the special. It's like magic. I mean, who doesn't who? I mean, even just watching someone blow out their their candles on their birthday cake. You enjoy that? Uh, yeah. Who doesn't like seeing someone enjoy a day that's about them? I hate that shit, dude. I I, I was the kid who used to run up and just blow out the candles <laughs> and spit all over it. So yeah, everyone. And, and you're the kind of kid that everybody wanted to blow the head off of because <laughs> you blew out the candles. No, I actually would never do that. I, I hope would feel not. so embarrassed. Yeah, dude. Even as a little kid, I'd f- I'd feel so embarrassed. Yeah, like, you know, there's there's people out there, not even like, you know, people with anything wrong with them. They're just spoiled, mm-hmm. which I guess is a disease of its own. Spoiled brats. That's a disease, Spoiled dude. brat syndrome. That's a fucking disease. Yeah, because they, like, can't handle, like, like those parents that'll get another kid presents on their other kid's birthday. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, we don't want them to get upset. Who gives a fuck? It's not their Who birthday. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? That kind of like, I don't give a shit. Who gives a fuck, Kevin? I don't give a fuck if Kevin starts crying. I don't crying. give a fuck about your little fucking face. Exactly. Because Kevin is 10 and already gets everything he wants. And then, yeah. you know. And then Brittany's over here fucking. Brittany's 19. And, yeah. and, she, and, and they won't even get her, you know, they won't even pay for her gas. And they won't even pay for her fucking gas. But they get fucking Kevin. You know everything that he wants. They get he's Kevin fucking, a brand new video game. He's the firstborn son. Fuck Kevin, dude. Well, <laughs> he might not be firstborn because Kylie's nineteen and Kevin's a little fuckface. Remember, firstborn son. Oh, that's right. Because oh, you know that's fucked up. They don't like the daughters, dude. Dude, and they don't. In they don't Ch- like the daughters. Forgive me if I'm wrong. In China, I think uh, they don't love having uh, daughters over there. You know what I heard they do? I, I want to say it, but I also don't want to get in trouble. They throw babies away. <laughs> they That's just what throw I heard. Garbage. Is that, so it, over there, they don't actually throw them in the garbage, right? Yeah, they use trash compactors instead. <laughs> <laughs> Spit them out. It's more it's more. They uh, use wood chippers. It's more eco-friendly. They use wood chippers, and then that's like fresh mulch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just baby guts all over the place. That's, that, that actually makes a lot more sense. It's more, it's more eco-friendly that way. Yeah, and since they're using you just f- throw them away, since they're using just, you know females, female fetuses. Sexu- I heard there are a lot of bra- there's a lot of liberals, liberals over in China. No, I think uh, I, I don't know, man. Fucking yeah, dude. Because overpopulation is a thing over there, but they're so heavily populated so, with the males. What what they, are we doing wrong? Are we not are we not fucking enough over here? Like, why are they overpopulated, but we're not? Do are we not wanna, fucking enough? Do you want to be overpopulated? I don't know, dude. But China's polluted to shit. I kind of want to be number one, and I got to tell you, I mean... You want to be number one in a bad thing? I mean, is it a bad thing? Because, I mean, if they're getting more pussy, they're getting all the pussy over there, dude. No, they're not. And they're not not. sharing. No, they're not getting all the pussy because... They're getting all the pussy, dude. No, because whenever a daughter is born, they throw them in the wood chipper. It's because they have too much pussy. No, they have too much dick. It's an insurmountable of pussy. They have too much dick. No, because they wouldn't throw a son away. They're too valuable. Yeah, because they like the guys more. They like they like the sons more. They yeah, because the women they'll have three daughters, throw them all in the, the wood chipper, and, and then, then one son, the son, and then they'll stop, and they'll keep that one, as they should. Now we could could potentially be wrong about a couple of the details there, so um, keep in mind. 
everything so everything we I'm not, just said I'm not from there could be false except the last thing Ta- um, take that take all that with a grain of salt yeah all of it could be taken with a grain of salt yeah. except the last thing we we spoke about um but seriously why why are they getting why are they overpopulating and we're not overpopulating um we're just more like pro abortion over here i think huh do they even abort in other countries? Can you get an abortion in other countries? Uh, you can in some countries, but not not all of them. Probably like Canada, you can. Yeah, like the really. No way, in Me- no Mexico, you can. It's just really botched. <laughs> yeah, you just go down a dark alleyway, and they just put a hanger in there, and then they just kick you in the stomach <laughs> a couple times. Oh no, I'm I'm pregnant. <laughs> It's okay now. He's it's gone. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I fix it. I fix it. Seven hundred dollars. Twenty pesos. Twenty pesos. But yeah, you know, it's like abortion. You know, because you know, ab- you know, abortion is a very <laughs> sensitive topic. Is it? I think so. You might be right. Abortion's kind of sensitive. I could see it. It's how a little you, sensitive. How do you feel about it then? Let's just delve into abortion. All right, let's delve in. Because we're not pussies on this podcast, okay? We already talked about putting babies in wood chippers, so I think we can <laughs> talk about abortion. I think we can. I mean, broach I think that, that gives. I a... think we can broach hold that on, hold subject. On. The rug. Oh shit! Sorry, um, I got active legs. No, actually, <laughs> there was an earthquake. Um, All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm I'm leaving. I'm off the show. Hold on. All right, we're still good. We're still good. See, you got okay. your you got your shirt off. What? I feel I got you all hot and heavy. Hold on. Now I I feel like I'm getting one up. So let me I'll take mine off too. Match the energy, dog. Match the energy. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Um. Yeah, see, we're both pretty. We're both pretty toned. Yeah, that was a lot quieter than I was, that was wanting a fucking, it to be. That was a queef. Is what that um, was. No, dude. So, I mean, pro pro abortion. You are you you pro, dude. Fuck yeah! I feel like as a man, I f- dude. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the only people who are truly pro life are fucking the the only ones are women, right? How can you really be a man and be pro life? <laughs> it's kind of gay. <laughs> well, I don't know. You I think, think you know I think is? I think the whole point. I think the whole argument of pro life is that is that it's uh, is that it's gonna be a person, you uh-huh. know. So they're like, well, you know, oh, because Bill Burr said it really good. He uh-huh. said, you know, if I'm baking a cake uh-huh. and I put the cake in the oven. And you come by t- ten minutes later. Take it out and throw it on the floor. Take it out and throw it on the floor. <laughs> and then you go, well, it wasn't a cake yet. <laughs> and then he goes, well, yeah, it would have been if you didn't just do what the fuck you just did. You can't. oh, he's he's a pro he's a pro lifer. No, he is or no, he's I think he's pro choice, but he's just saying you know there are there's but that's the that's the that's the beautiful thing about I mean is that they're able to play both sides. You know, yeah, they can have. They can have an opinion, but still make fun of the other side, you know, and still okay. understand the other side. My fu- that is true. I love that about comedians. I, okay, the biggest thing that I have a problem with is like, dude, I hate when they use the whole argument of like, well, um, if the person was raped and like for pro-choice, like people would be like, oh, well, if they're raped. Clearly, we deserve to have an abortion. Yeah, you fucking do. But I, I find it funny that people, when they, they make their arguments, they, like, go all the way to, like, the most severe fucking yeah, they go to the consequence. Crazy, yeah, they go to, like, the 1% yeah, of, like, what of everything. actually happens. You know, and it's like, that's just not, you know, it's just not how it is. But, obviously, but I will situation. say, obviously, in that situation, like, a blind person could be like, yeah, like, let's fucking get this thing aborted but i don't know <laughs> jesus i don't know no, you're talking about the rape thing okay you want to you want me to be honest 
if I had to add up the amount of fucking Plan B pills <laughs> that I've bought, so you, I could buy a brand so new. So you're kind of a murderer then. It's in the thousands. It has to be in the dollars. That's a lot, of dude. A th- it, well, oh, thousands of dollars, not thousands of. No, 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 not plan thousands. Of plan I was like, B's. what the. F- you're spreading your seed if you needed thousands of Plan Bs. Because one, your gang is conning these ladies. If you if you had a thousand <laughs> Plan Bs, because one, um, I actually bought a Plan B a week ago. Fun, um, fun fact. Uh, fun fact. No, it, it's it's kind of funny because one Plan B is fifty dollars. So if you think about it, two, two is a hundred. So how much is how much to a thousand? Well, how many? I mean, we gotta find I two, mean, two times. How many bodies, 10, dog? Yeah, 20, ten. Twenty. 10, I've at 20. least, I've at least bought twenty Plan Bs. That's two hundred dollars, or it's a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. I just did the math. I know. <laughs> My God. I was an English major. <laughs> okay, no, but seriously, that I, I don't know. I can't see for pro life. I mean, it's not a, it's not a great car. It's not a great. I mean, I could buy a. You could buy a beat up fucking. You could buy a <laughs> shitty car. fucking going down the street with it. You could buy my car out there, and then you could probably buy my car out there, and then that'll probably cover it. Yeah, man, it's probably like two grand. Your car's probably worth like two grand, maybe three. If I get the windows working, dude. <laughs> oh shit! That doubles the price. That doubles it, dog. <laughs> that doubles it. Um. No, what do you think about that? You pro. Pro life, pro choice. I'm definitely pro choice. My yeah. only problem with abortion is uh, late term abortions, but then again, that's another one of those extreme cases where that just doesn't really happen. Late term uh, abortion, that much. What is that when like the baby's about to come out and they just fucking yeah, throw like in the third, dumpster? Third, third trimester, yeah, like third trimester. Like your baby's like less than a month or two from being born, and you're gonna fucking. I don't think terminating that far along. Uh, yeah, I, mean, at that I doubt point, it's even healthy for the mother. At that you point, know? so obviously there's complications. You know, complications can arise. And dude, you are queef- You're you know fucking what? just queefing today. It's the- oh God, there dude! Go. You just gave yourself pink eye. You definitely just gave yourself pink eye. Well, it's because of the angle that I was at. I was spreading, and it was just coming out silent. Those all would have been very loud if I would have just angled. If it you're at the right me. angle, if I was at the right angle. Well, you're kind of like sex. You're gonna have pink eye. It's kind of like sex. I'm like, dude, just give me another chance. I, if I get it from a different angle, just, it'll be a lot better. No, just hold on. Now hold I, on. Don't put your clothes back on. Don't just put me, your clothes back on. Hold, hold on. on. Just hear me. Don't out. put your Crocs down. Put the Birkenstocks away. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely, you know, pro, pro choice because, yeah, it's their bodies, you know. Um, yeah. I understand, you know, uh, it's like if I were to get a woman pregnant, to me, it's completely up to her if she would like to keep it or not. If she wants to keep it, boom, I'm a dad. If she doesn't want to keep it, boom, boom, not a dad. You're still the same. So it is, it's very, it's, you know, also as, as, as Dave Chappelle said, it all depends on who I get pregnant. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I get some see you next Tuesday knocked up, I don't want her to be right. my baby mama. But if you have the love of your life and but she's But if pregnant, I love this woman and I think she's the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread. You leave it yeah, in. Yeah, I'll fucking. You leave it I'll in. put a load in. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. It's a Tuesday night. You're hot and heavy. Bang your head against the wall while you're fucking her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my. Oh my fucking God. No, that's her head going up against the f- the... And the she's headboard. like, oh my fucking god, don't stop, fuck it, keep me like, fuck, oh. And I'm just like, uh. that's and then that's, that's about it. So, that's it, that's it. Yeah. literally, that's how many thrusts, too. It's just, that's it, all you need. Three. That's all you really need. To procreate? They, to procreate? They act you know? like they need more, but realistically, it's like three is enough to make a baby. So, yeah, we're, we're copulating. We're so, not, really. We're, yeah, we're making a baby. We're not making love. There's there's time there's a time and a place. <laughs> that would be a to make great a baby. Excuse. To make a you baby, come, only one of us. You needs come to get fast. There. You come fast, and you're like, I thought we were making a baby. You didn't want children. It's the first date. You didn't want kids. <laughs> it's the first fucking date. It's the first date. I thought, and you're two pump chump. I thought 
I thought we really hit it off. I thought we were going to make a child. That's why I came so fast because I left it in. And that's when you buy plan B. Yeah. Because she probably, you know. Didn't want that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to ask before you start dumping loads in people. Believe it or not, it I, helps. Because, I mean, I would be pretty upset, too. Like, imagine, like, you know, you're in a fucking... Imagine somebody just dumps a load in you. Yeah. When you're not expecting it. It wouldn't be fun. It's all messy. Well, what else What else are you expecting? Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's in me. I, I Now that I think about it, I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. I, now that I think about it... You, like, I'm surprised it doesn't happen every time. You're already in there. <laughs> Might as well just <laughs> dump it in. Yeah, right? Might as well fin- you know? Know, complete the job. Dude. But then everybody would have kids. China. That's what that's what's going on. We just figured it out. We figured out the <laughs> figured problem. It out. Why are they so good at math, but they can't fucking pull out? Because they come too quick. They're bad at geometry. I don't think that's what it is. No? You Shapes? don't think they can tell the angle of how to put it in the puss? Like no, they, they, no, 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 no. They, they bring they, out their protractors this is just the to make sure that they're correct. They're good at the beginning of geometry, but as it gets more advanced, a.k.a. pulling out, they lose it. They don't know. Is that part of the geometry, uh, you know, system pulling out? I don't know, dude. I thought that was in physics. It's gravity and shit, right? Yeah. So what's it got to do with fucking geometry, dude? No, China, China men are just like really good at being like, I, no, I. Didn't That's know. it. <laughs> I know. I was a, uh, uh, sorry. Sorry, I. Bad at geometry. Mm, still seems like a weak excuse to that's give a, a pretty, lady. That's a pretty bad excuse, honestly. Because she's sitting yeah, there with you, fucking a bloat in her. Because it. Because you know, coming too quick is one thing. You know, dumping a load when it's not warranted, way worse. They gotta know, right? If, it, if both happen, I mean, come on, Dude, that's I'm a double whammy. Because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes. Has it happened to you before? Have you had a two pump experience? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, like, do you have good recharge time, or um, or do they give you a chance? Do they give you that other chance? You know, do they give you another chance? Yeah. A lot of the time, because they, they're still horny, because I didn't do much. <laughs> 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 but, um, no, dude, I was going to say, I, want, I don't think they feel when you come in them, because it's so, they're so wet. They're because already lubricated. And no, seriously, and I don't know if if anyone you don't think they in, don't feel it. No, seriously, because because there have been times where I've left it in, <laughs> and I literally just was like, I, I, I'm I'll just like be like really drunk or fucked up, right? And I'll just be like, I could buy a plan B tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> fuck it, dude. I'm just like living life on the edge, and I just fucking bust right in, and then I just keep going, and I just keep pumping. They don't they don't fucking like. Notice? Change. They don't say anything or do anything. Do you make it noted? Do you go like, ah? Uh, uh. no. no, I'm just like. <laughs> you're, and then I pull out. You're a silent killer. And then afterwards, they're like, oh, that was so good. And then. And they're like, did you come in me? <laughs> okay, no, actually, sometimes it does. They do say that. And I think it's because it drips out when they go to the bathroom and they go pee. Oh, my God. So that you get you get figured out. I, I get. Have you ever like done it and gotten it. away with it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And no, they haven't noticed. And then, the, but then I'm like, but then when I bring it up, I'm like, hey, I think we need a plan B. They're like, did you come in me? How did you not or, know? Or they just don't want to fucking bring it up. They're like, ooh, he came in me. I love when they have it. I do, love do that. You think, okay. Do you think girls see that as like a, as like a, a trophy? <laughs> When it, when a guy just comes in them, yeah, they're like, oh my god. I mean, that's I'm like a, I'm a the, real I'm a, life bo- I'm a boss ass bitch. This I got that fire. Wop, I got the best pussy ever. This wop made that pull out that's game <laughs> weak. Yeah, like I could see that. Do they take pride in that? You think? I could see that. And that's why they're just like, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Okay, but also. There you go. There we fucking go. We're getting go. a little bit of bass in these now. Dude, by the end of the podcast, you're, it's, it's going to be a your subwoofer. Eyes, your eyes are going to be swollen shut. 
by the end Why? of this podcast. <laughs> oh, I thought you said they already fucking look swollen. I'm like, fuck, dude. That ain't good. Well, what do you think's gonna happen? You keep fucking putting fecal matter and right in your it, face. Put it right in my face. <laughs> How did this happen? I you do you that. go to the doctor and the doctor's like <laughs> He's like, son, have you been around any anuses recently? Oh, you got to check the underwear on that one. <laughs> you got to check the undies on that one. Ah, that one was wet. Speaking of fucking... When's the last time you shit your pants? Okay, okay, this is a good one. Um, Last night. No. <laughs> yeah, um, I was going to say, like, last week, dog. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, I fucking coughed really hard. No. And- I didn't full no, out shit my pants. No, you didn't. I did not full out shit my you pants. You're not about to say you coughed and shit your pants. Dog. I did not shit you my pants. And shit you listen? Can you just okay, listen? Okay. It, was okay. sh- it was a shark. Okay. I it definitely had some brown stains on the underwear. Right. I didn't drop a full fucking poop <laughs> in my pants. I don't think I've ever done that. Not since I was a baby. Not since I was a baby. <laughs> How long ago are we talking? Diapers. I haven't full on shit my pants since diapers. You haven't dropped a log in there before. Why would you want to? Yeah, it's not good. You can't drop a log. You would never do it on purpose. No, I, always I mean, accidental. I don't think you shot it on purpose were, either. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's always accidental. <laughs> you never do it on purpose. When was the last time I? I think um, two I two, two weeks ago was it wasn't last week. It was two weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. That makes it sound a bit better, right? That does make it sound. They won't know, dude. They won't know. Three years. It was, it was three years ago. So when was yours? I don't. I, I seriously can't remember the last time I sharded my pants. I know you. You went real that's, quick with yours, dude. That's, that's like, yours was last Sunday. <laughs> you fucking sharded right last after Sunday. Sunday brunch. Yeah, but it was accidental. Yeah, I, I mean, just they're never. On purpose. They're never on purpose. I who's just sh- who's just sitting there on their couch sharting in their fucking pants for enjoyment? Fucking stupid little babies. What a bunch, what a sick. That's why I'm pro-choice. Babies are sick, dude. <laughs> sick These creatures. Are sick. Sick creatures. They throw up. They shit everywhere. They don't clear up themselves. They make you do it. And then they fucking run around blowing out other people's. Candles. And then and then they have the most disgusting shit ever. Like literally up their back. Yep. The worst thing you've ever seen. And you know what and you know what look they're giving you? That little sure. happy baby face. It's true. They're just Ooh. so cute though. Not when you got a bunch of shit on your hands. That that takes the cutest. It's a little cute. Of. It's a little cute. It's like, ah, oh, you little shit. No. No? No. If it's your baby. Your if baby. It's, because we don't have babies. So it's like if it was your own baby, you we, might be like Should we adopt? Like father like Should we son. get a baby? Should me and you get a baby together? What color? Uh, what color? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, like, do you want an ethnic baby or do we just get a white baby? Like, you mean like the oh the skin tone, not like the clothing. You gotta stop moving this rug, dude. I mean they, I mean Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> We're gonna have technical difficulties here in a moment. Um. black you think so yeah because then we could start like a reality tv show for like some street cred well well no because then we would just we would just raise them and play basketball yeah we would just we could teach them all the fundamentals and everything about the game dude what about i'll teach them i'll, I'll go to the gym and teach them how to work out you teach them your height yeah but what if they don't have good genetics i can't teach my genetics why not because they don't have mine. Dude, see, this is why we can't have a baby together. You're not even going 50-50 with me. Okay, well, then you find me a tall woman to breed with. Okay. And then I'm done. And then there you go. We're done. What? And then I and then we, we kick her to the curb and we take the baby? Yes. Like what the fucking uh, Tinder chick tried to do to you. If any if six any, foot one if any beautiful w, chocolate if women. If any WNBA players are watching, uh, call me. We can make some tall children. If if you if you want a Listen, child, dude, this guy's seed is good, dude. Tell, I'm telling. I mean, come on. I mean, you want a six foot tall baby at the least. You know, everybody wants to be six feet tall. So, I think it's a no brainer. If you're if you're out there, you know, maybe a tall volleyball player, 
Definitely WNBA. All WNBA players welcome. Oh my god, dude. So speaking of um fucking volleyball. You ever seen Shane Gillis's bit about Yeah. Why yes. that's so funny. Oh really? It's an essential piece of equipment? And then he goes, Well, I looked up the special needs volleyball team. The special Olympics volleyball team. They don't seem so essential for them. No longer essential equipment, huh? (laughs) It's so funny. Okay, who are your top give me your top three comedians right now? Um my top three comedians right now, right now are That's what I said. (laughs) I'm gonna fucking punch you. (laughs) Anyways, uh, I would go with Gilly, of course. Um, Mark Normand. You like Mark Norman, huh? I think he's very funny. I think he's so annoying. Really? You don't think he's I witty? He's so annoying. I find him so witty. He's so quick. I love yeah, that. Yeah, he's quick, but then it's like, I just want to fucking drop kick him, dude. Yeah. He's very punchable, you know? Yeah, but I think, he, I think he's... I think it's... So, I think he, uh... Hey, uh, I was like, uh, hey, uh, <clears throat> yeah. And then I was like, uh, I don't know, dude. He just fucking annoys me. Segura. I like Tom Segura. Segura's and, good. Segura's good. And I'm going to throw Sam Morrill in there as well. I don't know if you know him. He literally looks like Mark Norman, kind of. I don't know who Sam Morrill is. They're literally, they, Mark Norman, and they're both like the same person, it feels like. I would have to go <clears throat> top three comedians right now. Can I go my top three comedians? Dave Chappelle's still doing stand up. Yeah. I'll you go can, Dave you Chappelle. Can throw him in there. I'll we'll go Dave Chappelle. That. I'll go um I'll go Dave Chappelle. I'll go Shane. Shane Gillis. And I'll yeah, go you throw Gilly in there. And I'll go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna act like so Shane Gillis, <laughs> Shane Gillis, <laughs> and um, who else? I don't know. Who the fuck do you like? Shane Gillis, Dave Chappelle. Oh, Santino. You want me to be honest, bro? Do you like Lee better than Santino? Do you like Bobby better than Santino? Or do I'm you not talking like, about I'm talking about stand up comedians you right don't now. Like either of them. As a stand-up. You like them more as like their podcast. Andrew, you like them together. Andrew, I don't really think he's that good at stand-up compared to the rest of them. Really? I don't. I thought Bobby his... doesn't Bobby doesn't do um any specials. He hasn't has he hasn't had any specials. Yeah, but Andrew's specials weren't bad. I beg to differ, dude. His most recent one kind of blew dick. I didn't see his most recent one. His most recent one was kind of like he's just very safe. Yeah, you know, like Shane Gillis, he's fairly safe. Dave he Chappelle, is, he is fairly safe. I'm gonna put Joey Diaz in there because I know he's he's not doing stand up currently, but as far as a stand up comedian, Joey Diaz, Dave Chappelle, Shane Gillis are my top three. If I'm gonna favorite, go all time favorite, if I go all time, I gotta throw Louis C.K. in there, and obviously, I really like. I really enjoy George Carlin's. Um, we're, if we have to throw all time, we're know. throwing Eddie Murphy in. Oh yeah, dude! I remember I watched Eddie Murphy Delirious uh, as a as a fucking eight year old, and it was the funniest fucking thing. As an eight year old, I didn't even understand half the jokes. Still, it don't matter, dude. Like, it don't matter. He was so fucking good. Eddie Eddie Murphy's a great pick, actually. Eddie Murphy's fucking hilarious. Eddie Murphy's definitely fucking hilarious. And I think that if we're going all time, we got to throw him in there. Got to throw uh, Dave. Got to throw. Um, doesn't really get a lot of credit as a stand up, I guess. But mm-hmm. Martin Lawrence was a pretty funny. I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. Bad I boys. Do. The other guy in Bad Boys. I probably know who you're talking about if I've seen the picture. Yeah, you would. You'd recognize him. Um, um, he was, um, he literally, like, you've heard of Def Jam? Yeah. 
that's basically his thing. He would bring on he like he helped Chris Tucker get on the map. He helped he helped so many like especially black comedians like get on the map and like make a name for themselves. So Martin Lawrence did a lot for the stand up game, you know? Yeah. Um but besides him, I'm gonna like for people that I enjoy listening to personally, I really like um Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. He's, He's good. great. I love him. I love He's some good. of his stuff. Ricky Gervais is awesome. I really like um Um I'm blanking on his name. Not Robin Williams, but Robin Williams is a good one. I don't know. There's there's honestly like I can't remember. Like I keep thinking of comedians and I can't remember if they were more uh stand up or if we they were just Kevin in Hart? funny movies. Kevin Hart is one of the best stand ups. I mean he he He's our generation's version of like he's our generation's version Joe of Joe Coy. I don't I don't love him. I don't either. <laughs> I just I just mentioned you him because he's it. big. You just said his name. I don't love Joe Coy. Uh, I understand he's big. He's pretty popular, but not. He's huge, dude. Yeah, I don't love Stadiums. his. Stadiums. I don't love his uh, material that much, honestly. I don't either, really. I don't know. I, I just kind of. I feel like certain comedians I can relate to more. Definitely. You know? Bill Burr. You know? Bill Burr. I think Bill Burr's hilarious. I relate to Bill Burr a lot. Bill Burr's funny. Isn't it funny that the internet has made us know all these people, but if it was like 20 years ago. We would only know like three comedians. We would have had to read it. We would have had to read some newspapers. Yeah. And watch the t- television. Watch the news. Watch the, the old TV. Watch the telly. Watch the little telly. Um. Yeah, because Kevin Hart really is like the biggest one of our generation. He's like yeah. our generation's Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor as well is fucking hilarious. Richard Pryor is fucking hilarious. Richard Pryor is hilarious. Rodney Dangerfield's hilarious. You might not know who that is. Um. Fucking this white Andrew Dice Clay is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Bobby Lee is a fan of Andrew Dice Clay, if you know who that is. And I'll say George Carlin again. And I want to take a second to be like, George Carlin wasn't necessarily like gut busting laughter, but like it was so because st- like everything he said just made a lot of sense. It was more like I don't even like it. Like he like would make you laugh. But, like, it's not like, you know, you're not going to, like, die laughing. You're going to be like, oh, my God, that's funny. But, like, holy shit, that's really true. And I love that kind of comedy as well where it's, like, where it's basically just telling what the fuck it is, you know? Like, yeah. They're not pulling any punches. They're just telling you what it's like. Or, right, you know? right, right, right. Because he, he has a great bit on, like, euphemisms, you know, like, uh, passed, uh, passed away or, like, you know, kicked the bucket, like, that kind of thing. Like, he went over, like, a bunch of, a bunch of those and, you know, it was just like, why the fuck are we being so scared of real life? You know, like, it's life, it's death, you know, like, what are we so scared of? You know, like, we're all humans. So he was a really good comedian in the sense that just like, you loved to listen to him talk, like you love to listen to him keep going. But if we're talking about like, the funniest ones, dude, I think my top three funniest ones are Louis C.K., um... Shane Gillis is on that list for me already. Shane Gillis, Shane Gillis so is on that list for me already. Fucking fun. Dude, if you haven't seen shout Shane out, Gillis. Shout his, out Shane Gillis, by the way. If you haven't seen his new fucking his special, new special on Netflix. Check it out. I swear to God, it's probably. It's up there with me, no bullshit, with um, Killing Him Softly, Dave Chappelle. Um, That was like one of Dave Chappelle's like. Early ass fucking specials, dude. The one where he's in the blue shirt. Doesn't matter. I don't know if he was in a blue shirt, but no, but yeah. I mean, if you can compare any fucking stand-up set to something Dave Chappelle did, you know you're doing something right, dude. His Shane Gillis's new fucking special is fucking hilarious. Um, speaking of rednecks, Shane Gillis. Okay. I have a story time. Ooh, story, story. 
Story time. Gotta love so, the story times. <clears throat> for everyone who follows the podcast, you know that I used to sell windows in the bumfuck nowhere of Wisconsin. That's right. So Get the context out of the way. This was uh, a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Right when I first moved to Wisconsin, probably a couple, literally a couple months in, maybe three months into moving to Wisconsin, right? I am going to an appointment, so I... I'm driving to this person's house because I'm going to go give them a presentation about my uh, windows that I'm trying to sell them. Yeah. I get there a little bit early, so I didn't want to park on their street, so I parked on a street parallel um, a few blocks down. And I was like, all right, because I found a spot that wasn't like, w- was kind of like on a back road. Um, it wasn't very heavy traffic, so I could kind of just pull over, take a little nap. Because I was super tired, and I was like, I'm just going to take like a little like 20, 30-minute nap, and then I'm going to go, and I'm going to go get the presentation, right? So whatever. I go, I recline my seat all the way back, and then I proceed to take a little nap. So I'm thinking it's all cool, whatever, right? Um, and then I, I kind of wake up for a second because I hear people walk by, and they're talking pretty loud, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? Whatever. I'm still sleeping. I'm like not giving a fuck whatever, whatever. Then I wake up, pull my seat back up. I'm like, get my shit together. I'm like, all right, now it's time to fucking, um, you know, go do that presentation, go do the presentation. Why didn't you want to park on that road? I didn't want to park on their road. Cause I think their, their, uh, community was a little bit more of like a heavy, like populated area. And I didn't want to sleep for some reason there. So I like pulled off on like a countryside road and it was like a bunch of trees and shit. Um, and there was no like houses like right by me or anything. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I start going as I take, um, go down all the way down the street and I take two turns. I notice that a car is behind me and I'm like, okay, like that's interesting. Cause they, they were coming down the same street as me. And then I took a turn. They followed me, took another turn. They followed me. So I was like, this is weird. So I keep going um, for a while, and I didn't have to be there at, at the appointment for still like another like 30 minutes. So I was like, all right, still driving, and I notice they're still following me. I take another turn. They're still following me, and I was like, okay, now this person is actually following me. Like, this isn't a fucking you're coincidence. The one, now you're the one getting fucking followed. Exactly. And then so I what I did was I took a turn, and then I went and I uh, went back down um, another street, a long street, country road street. And I literally pulled over so that I could see if they would go past me or if they were going to stop. And if they stopped and they were like someone trying to get me, I was going to fucking like make a U-turn. Like I pulled off in a little dirt patch and this fucking literally picture the whitest Karen you've ever seen in your life. She had fucking cleaning gloves on. And she was driving her little fucking SUV, Ford Explorer or some shit. Mm-hmm. And she rolls her, win- she she pulls up to me. I have my window rolled up. And she goes. <laughs> and I was like. God, I already want to punch her in the fucking face. I was like. Face. Like the energy was crazy. I was like, what the. So I rolled my window down and I'm like, can I help you? And she fucking proceeds to go off on me like. We know the fucking sheriff in this town. You can't get away with this. You were you were back there. We you've been coming past here for two weeks. We knew, and you know what? I already called them and fucking you know better not fucking come around here again. And I was like, literally, she came at me so hot that I was like, who the fuck are you talking to? Like I literally matched her energy immediately. Thank you. Because I Thank was like. You. I was. I, I was, thought you were gonna try and de-escalate. No, 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 no. I appreciate the story already. It was kind of crazy because I was already kind of sleep deprived, like yeah. tired. Just yeah. woke up groggy from a nap. Yeah. Pissed. I'm. I'm fucking on the clock, lady. And you're fucking gonna come I'm on up the to clock, me. and you want to be on my clock right now, <laughs> bitch. And then she. She literally fucking. She literally fucking keeps going. Doesn't even ask me like questions. Right. She's yeah. assuming. And then she's like. I know you were fucking sitting back there stalking this, stalking that house. You've been stalking that house for for however long. And I'm like, I literally stopped and I was like, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. 
I literally moved here three, I literally said, I literally moved to this fucking state three months ago, okay? I'm about to go to an appointment literally two streets down for a window company. I was like, look, there's windows in my back seat. And then she, <laughs> I can't remember exactly because I was like, I was actually kind of flustered at this point. So, um, so she, fucking mad. She literally, um, she got so embarrassed because she clearly was wrong, was wrong that she was like, well, fuck you. <laughs> literally. <laughs> and I, I went, I went, I was like, fuck you. And then she like drove off. Good. But my, my craziest thing, right, is like, first of all, you wanted to hunt her down and shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Perhaps. But hey. no, the first thought that went through my mind was like, first of all, lady, if I was a crazy stalker. Why are you following me? That's what I've been thinking this whole time. Are you? That's what I've been thinking this whole time I was going to ask that. You could literally tell that she was one of those Karens that was like cleaning, that she, her, her fucking husband doesn't give her any attention, no good dick. She was literally at home. She had fucking cleaning gloves on, so she was yeah. cleaning the house, and she was like, oh, that motherfucker. Like, he's he's here again. Yeah. And they thought that I was some fucking stalker or whatever. And I'm like, S bitch, if I was a crazy stalker, you should not have followed me because I would have fucking, if I was a crazy if stalker, I, was a crazy stalker, I would have kidnapped you. And you would have been butt fucked. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but because yeah, how fucking how how full of yourself do you have to be to chase down what you think is a potential stalker, stalker, a potential threat? You're like, that's him, that's him. I'm, I'm chasing gonna, him. I'm getting him. I'm gonna go get him. Citizens arrest. Get. I'm calling the sheriff. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna chase him as I call him. Or that's I'm gonna what chase I'm saying. him. Like if you knew the sheriff, bitch, you should have had him with you if you thought you were a fucking danger to the community. Yeah, but she chases you down herself. I don't. I wish you were a fucking murderer, and then you could have showed that you could have taught that dumb bitch a lesson. Well, my craziest thing is like, there's really people out there who don't realize like the dangers of situations. And there's also like she had like she for some reason just did not realize like that's all it like. Even if you weren't a murderer, her outburst very well could have turned you into one that day. Yeah, yeah. Well, all it takes is one bad day. And, and like you never fucked. like what if somebody's having a really shitty day and she that was Karen having just, a shitty day and then that, I matched and then the it. Karen comes up and what if you just what if you had a fucking you know gun in your fucking glove box and you just go pop 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 kill shot too you turned it sideways because I turned it sideways that's a kill shot yes yeah it's true but it's like you know you never know who no. you're dealing with or what they're going through or what they're dealing with. So why the fuck would you ever come up to somebody but, that crazy, especially if you don't know them? Dog, this is why I told you and everyone listening, you to imagine this lady, you have to imagine the craziest, mo the most caring, person, housewife, white lady you can imagine, because you can tell that she's lived the the utmost life of privilege Privileged that lifestyle. you've ever seen. Yeah. She's never been to the fucking hood in her life. In her life. Let alone live in it. Yeah. She's never even probably stepped foot around it. She probably drove extra minutes, took detours. The only hood she's ever checked out is on the front of her car. Burn. That's a good joke, dude. Write that down. Write that down. Burn, bitch. Got her. No, dude, seriously. I, I, I literally, I, I actually forgot about that. And for some reason... I remember that today. It just came to you. Yeah, it came to me. I don't know why it came to me. I don't know. That's but on that note, hold on, wait. One last, one quick story time for you guys. Okay. Uh, I was at the store earlier uh, today. Okay. And this uh, guy comes up to me, and uh, Mexican Mexican fellow. Uh -huh. And he speaks very little English or very broken English. Habla español? Yeah, he, no, asked habla español? That, he asked that to me. And I was like, muy, muy pequeño, muy pequeño. I don't even know if that's how you say very little in Spanish. But uh, that's little, what I said to him. Little penis. Yeah, like, I don't know what I said. I, I probably said uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. I like so, penis. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know what I said to him exactly. But I was like, no, nah, I don't very little. I don't speak very good Spanish. 
So he started like telling me this his life story in like broken English or whatever. But it was literally it wasn't his life story. It was just like the past day. So apparently, you know, he got robbed and mugged. Not that it's it's not funny. It's not funny. But he was just telling me the story in broken English, and he's just like, "I've been, I've been stabbed." <laughs> like, but I did it, okay? Because he, it did, he did not, he did not look like he was stabbed. Was he being like to real, be fair, real theatrical? I was stabbed. Yeah, dude, he I was being theatrical. Stabbed. He was being theatrical. He wanted a dono. Uh huh. I'm not. He was working hard for it though. Yeah, I gave him a. I threw him a buck. He got stabbed. Threw him one dollar. He got stabbed. He lost four hundred dollars. They stole four hundred dollars from him, and you gave him a dollar. And he and they broke his phone. And they broke his phone. You want to know how I know it's bullshit? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck would they break your phone and not steal it? There you go. So I figured him out immediately, but I was like, "All right, sir, you got stabbed. Here's a dollar." So was he like, "Oh, thank you." Or was he like, oh, fucking piece of shit? He did. He said thank you. He seemed he seemed grateful for it. Okay. And I was happy to give it to him because I, I love it? helping. What can you genuinely get with one dollar nowadays? <laughs> no ta- tax included. With one dollar. <laughs> Not much. What can you get? <laughs> so I I mean I helped him get close. You know what he got? He got to look. He gets to look at a dollar tonight. And be like, <laughs> at least someone was nice to me today. At least I had hope. I got this one. This will help me get through the night. I can use it as a blanket. <laughs> He's using it, cuddling up with it. Because you can't. Okay, you're right. You can't up. buy anything with it. What are you gonna? Oh, if you have the McDonald's app, ninety nine cent cone. They broke his phone. No fucking McDonald's ice cream cone for him. And is there a tax on that ninety nine cents? I don't think so. Actually, he's got a scrounge for a quarter somewhere. Yeah, but he. It doesn't matter. They broke his phone. It's only on the app. You can't go in store. Yeah. It's a dollar seventy five if you go in store. <laughs> on that note, uh, for on everyone, that note, for everyone watching uh, on their non broken phones, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We fucking love you guys. Thank you so much for. Li- please like, comment, share with if your you friends. If you made it to this point in the video, comment. Titties, man, titties. Comment, man, titties. Man, titties. Right there. Uh, they're right in your face. They have been for a while now. Um, but seriously, you guys are the best. We wouldn't be doing this without your guys' love and support. Thank you so very much, and we will catch y'all later. Peace.